What's going on? Average Tech Guy here. And today we are back. More tech, more reviews. And this is going to be a first look at Apple's brand new customizable wallpapers. We'll see what everybody thinks of them. <laughs> All right, so Apple has just released the betas for um, iOS 16. So the, all the iOSs and iPads and all that good stuff, we're on 16, guys. We're, we're on 16. And you may be wondering what those new customizable wallpapers are going to look like. So this is what we are going to be doing today. Now, I have the wallpapers here, and let's just get this thing unlocked. You have to unlock the screen first and then you just hold down and once you hold down it's going to take you to the customization page. Now in the customization page you can actually customize several different wallpapers and you can use them at your leisure. If you want to customize one, let's just say for, for instance this one right here, we're going to customize and it's going to bring up these little blocks but you also get these dots down here. You can change the depth effects and you can enable the perspective zoom from those dots down there. Now let's say we want to add some things in here where they give you different widgets. Now we're not saying that widgets are something to brag about but Apple has never been big on doing widgets and things like that. So now they're giving us different widgets that we can pop into these spots and use them at our leisure. And if you want to get rid of them you're just going to hit and get rid of them. I'll keep that one. And when you're done or, or let's talk about this first. You can change the font and you can change the color of these numbers. So click on that and it changes the actual font. You got six to choose from. There's no way to swipe. And then you can change the color itself and it gives you a color wheel selection as well as just colors on a palette right here. So whatever floats your boat, whichever ones you like, it's going to be best for you. Put it there. The Font up top can also be changed and you can actually change that into a different kind of widget. And when you're done, you just hit done and you're good to go. Now let's say you want to add a different page and you want a different little flare. They actually have featured wallpapers right here. One of my favorites is the emoji because let's say you like emojis and you can make it large, you can make it in rings, you can make it spiral. You got tons of things that you can customize, but let's say you don't like those flowers. Well, you come in here and you do this and you put those. So we like it. I mean, it's just the ability to customize on Apple has really never been their strong suit. So the fact that they're allowing us to customize these things like is pretty much nice. It's I like it. I like the fact that we can now customize on an iPhone. Not saying that this is something new that has been being, this has been being done forever on Android, but Apple is new to this game. So big shout out to Apple for thinking outside of the box and finally getting on board with everybody else. So let's say you want to open it up. Now I'm not going to go too deep into all this because I just got the actual operating system today. I just wanted to come to you guys, show you all the lock screen, the wallpapers, the customization. And another one that I really like, and let's get this thing unlocked. Boom. Another one that I really like was, let's add it, was the weather. So, boom. So it actually is going to give you the weather in your area and you don't have to like open it up to look at it. You got the weather right there. And one of the biggest things I like about the iPad is they brought they brought the weather application over there. So we got a dedicated weather application. So you can have a lot of customizable wallpapers right out here at your fingertips. A lot of customizable home screens. You can do them however you want to do them. And that's pretty much it. Now, I do have a lot of different things that I kind of want to dive into with this phone since this is not a main phone that I like to use all the time. But I think since I have iOS 16 on here, I'm going to put my SIM card back in here and we're going to start using this and I'm going to be testing it. So if you guys want to see any other things such as like maps, because maps was one of those things that I was really interested in. and I know they're still working on those maps. So, you know, in the future, as it gets closer to the full release, hopefully we'll be able to do more and see more. 
But I'm actually pretty excited because this is the first operating system that has, has gotten my attention since I think 13 actually came out. Like 14 was fluff, 15 was fluff, 16 may be the one that kind of piques my interest and gets me a little bit more interested in this. So if you guys want to see anything specific about this device, drop a comment down below, let me know. One of the biggest things is to me though, is customization, adding widgets, customization. Everything else is kind of secondary, but I do like some of the features in uh, messages now that you can pull those messages back or you can go in and change those autocorrects. I like that. I like the features in email where you can stop the emails from being sent. I just, I mean, it's a lot of different little nuanced things that, that iOS 16 is gonna bring to the table that I think I will actually like and I will actually be able to use. So. In the comment section down below, let me know what you like, what you'll be able to use, and then we're gonna put some more videos out. So stay tuned for that since we do have this um, beta on hand. We're gonna be doing more videos. So I'm gonna leave it up to you guys. Let me know what you wanna see, and we're gonna get them out there. So hopefully this has been able to help someone out. And until next time, be sure and give me that big thumbs up, and please subscribe. Average check out. Peace.